Warning, if you aren't a fan or have a problem with bloody deaths or don't like the sound of blood, then this anime isn't for you and you should exit this video now. You have been warned. In anime, there is a small genre that doesn't have many shows under it, and that genre is called the horror and suspense genre. I personally like this genre, because the small amount of shows that I have seen have been pretty good. See my Higurashi review to see what I thought of the only horror and suspense anime that I have watched up till now. Now with that out of the way, welcome to another anime review. And what is the name of this anime you may ask? Well that's the name of it, another! or as I like to call it, the Final Destination anime. Another word I'd use for it is creepy, as it just shows everything that's creepy. Now that I've used the one joke that everyone else has used, let's get on with that with the, with the review. With the creepy music, the dark animation, and the epic dancing! Wait, what? Misaki! I'm Class 9-3, a girl named Misaki, who was the great at sports and typical grade A student, a role model for sure, died. Shortly after, a classmate pointed at her desk, saying, she's not dead, she's right there. The class goes along with it up to graduation. Cut 26 years later to Koichi Sakibara, a new transfer student, um, who meets a strange girl, Misaki Mare, that the whole class can't see. And it's pretty, pretty obvious that the classmates are hiding something. Like maybe a curse that will kill people brutally. Might be a slight possibility. I like mystery stories because it makes you think. And I feel like I can figure it out before everyone else. I can't, but I like to think. But they told the curse too early. So we, now, so we know what's happening like... Another person dead. Woo hoo. Well, if they put it at the end, it would be like... Oh my god, what the hell's going on? Why are people dying? And it fails to actually solve the mystery. Why were these people dying? The best answer they can give us is it's a com calamity that happens every year with a different set of characters. Speaking of which... This is the same problem with characters in Attack on Titan. You don't have a chance to get attached to a character because you don't know if they'll make it. So I'm only talking about the main two characters. Koichi is too stupid. He doesn't ask questions. He's more the observer than the actual detective. <laughs> No! You ask what happened after the first year! Then there's Misaki, who is a Rei Anami clone, aka not giving a crap about anything. She just keeps the same monotone voice from episode 1 to episode 12. And I swear, she uses instant transmission from Dragon Ball Z, because she's able to appear out of nowhere. This anime was done by PA Works, who are responsible for such masterpieces like Angel Beats. The animation is like it's going, Hey, this is a dark anime, trust us, we use dark colours. The only thing that stands out is the blood and the horrific death scenes that are amazing to watch. Well, that was... Shocking. Yeah! As for the opening, it doesn't fit for me. I mean, it feels like it should go something like Lime Barrel. Actually, let's do, let's check that out.
Yep, that works. I was expecting something like Elfin Lee, calm, and doesn't prepare you for the show really is. The ending was calming with its calming music and lightly coloured visuals for when the death scenes happen at the end of the episodes. It really calms you down. The music is really creepy, like I said at the beginning. It does complement the visuals. The only track I'd listen to without visual accompaniment is the main theme and Misaki's theme. The rest aren't really memorable at all. This anime isn't even for squeamish viewers, but it does make you want to watch the next episode to find out what happens next. I give it a 5 out of 10. For ultimate anime recommendations, Elf and Leave for the Gore fans, if you really like to be creeped out, I go for Higurashi no Naku Kuro ni, or When They Cry, as it's known in English. Another is available on Crunchyroll for legal streaming and has a DVD release by Sentai Filmworks. If you fall, you do not land like this! It's like you want us to make fun of you. Message for you, sir! Then there's Ray. That's not Ray. That's Misaki. Then there's Misaki. Monotone voice. Uh, Let's move. <laughs> Be comfy. Dozens. One take. Okay. He uses instant transmit. Uh, why do I fuck up any transmit? Uh, uh, <laughs> Another is available on Crunchyroll and is and for legal streaming. Uh, uh, okay. Another is available on Crunchyroll for legal streaming and has a DVD. Uh, another is available on Crunchyroll and is available for legal streaming. Oh, fuck.